You say that uh, money cannot buy happiness? Hey! Habibi, come to Dubai! <laughs> So friends, it's 4.13 and the boarding haven't been started yet. So please don't select fly Dubai if you're traveling to Dubai. See, all the passengers are waiting and it's already 4.15. Uh, so friends, uh, I had to wait a lot and flight bhi delay tha and then uske baad humko aise queue mein khada raka and fir baad mein ek ek karke boarding start hua and I requested for a window seat I was the first person and still mujhe dekho ye type ka window seat milta hai jahan pe baacho mein window hi nahi hai I just did fine and then the morning sunrise in Dubai so this is the sunrise uh, shoot which I did. And uh, now coming the breakfast part. So friends, I didn't like the breakfast though because it's scrambled egg and then there was some palak ka bhaji, potato wedges, uh, muffins. So my overall experience was okay, okay, but the food was not that good as compared to Emirates, which you will see at the end. Pe dekhoge. this is about my entire traveling experience so okay so let me tell you one thing uh, international uh, this was my first trip from Mumbai to Dubai and I just loved Dubai and I uh, Dubai mein, how I planned how uh, I decided kiya, kaun se places jana hai, kaun sa pre booking needed tha, and everything I will cover in my next vlog so basically um, uh, I booked Emirates and uh, to have that good travel experience my cousins and um, Nicholas told me ki you go for Emirates because you will have a very uh, lovely journey experience because in terms of services Emirates is very good so then in the month of November I wanted to change my timings because as per my itinerary I thought mujhe souvenirs lena hai, gifts kharidna hai, uh, gold soup market jana hai and there were many other things and my flight was in the afternoon so I wanted to reschedule the timings uh, almost uh, during the Diwali time in Mumbai so it was around I think first week of November and uh, that time uh, the Emirates customer care uh, executive uh, told me uh, ma'am, why do you change your return when you don't have to go to the fix? So then I had a question mark like, what are you saying? Do you have to confirm your means? So then uh, he was like, your going ticket has been cancelled because the flight is overbooked and uh, the entire flight is cancelled by government rules and regulations. So he said some government norms and all, which I by the point okay maybe because i am not that aware about the government of course that aviation industry would know much better my only point of concern was one if the flight has been cancelled why there was no notification no email no message sent to me as a passenger i was uh, under the thing ki, okay my flight is confirmed and yeah i'm going i told everyone mera ho gaya flight ka emirates ka ho gaya and i'm going by emirates it's a round trip going and coming by emirates uh, then the person told me now we don't have any other flights my visa was in process I had paid for my visa as well uh, okay so now I'll tell you the major problem that I faced they said there is no flight it's either two days earlier or two days later so it's not better as per my plan then they give me another option that should we book another airlines uh, for like with another airlines for you so I was like, buy another airlines. If I wanted to book another airlines, I could have it. I had other options at that time. Pe. But Emirates was expensive at that time in comparison to other airlines cost. Still I selected because of something, right? Then they told me, okay, then we will give you uh, another option. Why don't you go by Fly Dubai? And they said that we will book your tickets and Fly Dubai. So your going will be via Fly Dubai and coming will be via Emirates. So I said, okay and then at later stage almost i think they kept me on waiting list uh, 
<laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous and bit funny like how can airlines keep you on waiting list uh, railways mein hota hai but airlines mein waiting list ke sath hai so mujhe mail aaya hai wo main mail ka screenshot main end mein dalungi jisme tha ki uh, you have been kept on waiting list uh, if in case any passengers cancel the flight then uh, you will get a chance so it was a very dicey situation and i was under the dilemma ki will i go to dubai or no and uh, uske baad uh, then finally i think november last week me i had to uh, you know um, accept it i then selected fly dubai as an option and i said okay chal i'll go by fly dubai now the problem was fly dubai was early morning flight it goes only one flight in the morning this was the information shared with me by the executive of uh, emirates and i accepted it i said okay theek hai everything done i reached airport thoda luggage ka mera issue hua because uh, i was carrying excess luggage i paid for the luggage and all which was still fine sab ho gaya fly dubai i reached safely in dubai now when the time came where i have to come from uh, dubai to mumbai uh, everything was fixed no cancellation nothing Uh, for the excess luggage again i paid extra online itself in additional package option which is available on emirates website so i used that feature and i paid extra for my luggage so this time luggage was not the issue i tell you where the issue was uh this was really very disappointing and uh, to be very honest i didn't expected this from emirates so uh, i was uh, i reached too early um, and i was waiting in the queue for check in the check in line was um, you know bahut bada line tha and uh, because there were other flights it was not only for mumbai of course there was uh, other countries as well so um, my turn came and uh, there was a lady and um, her name was sabira and uh, uh, this lady uh, the uh, one who was sitting at the counter she asked for my passport and she asked for air suvidha um, uh, air suvidha form and she asked for my rtpcr i showed her on my mobile i gave her my passport and i showed her on my mobile uh, then she asked me oh, where are you flying i said uh, mumbai then uh, she asked me okay and uh, then she was discussing something with her colleague who was sitting next to her at another counter and she saying uh, show me the hard copy i said hard copy of what she said of your air suvidha i said oh i don't have the hard copy uh, then she said go there and get the hard copy i said okay so apart from this what all hard copy you need she said go and get this first i said okay but tell me one thing why do you need a hard copy when everything is there in my mobile i have all the soft copies why do you need a hard copy uh, will the soft copy won't work then the answer that she gave was very heartbreaking and i didn't expected this friends i really didn't expected this so she said go and ask your indian government yeah right she said go and ask your indian government is this the answer when the passenger is asking why do you need a hard copy will soft copy won't work this lady said go and ask your indian government are you trying to make a difference or are you trying to uh, differentiate between the uae government indian government and the other government you would have given a very polite answer saying this is the requirement that indian government have asked for all the passengers traveling to mumbai right but you i mean the staff sabira answered it in a very inappropriate way in a very rude manner and you know she should have been bit humble but she wasn't and uh, then i said okay and um, the copies were open on my phone okay and i said uh, can you tell me what all more documents you need as a hard copy because i won't keep on going all the time because i was like in later on she says go and get the uh, rt pcr copy as well go and this uh, go and get this as well i can't keep on running all the time so then she just threw my passport and um, it is captured in the camera they can see the way she behaved with me she threw my passport on the desk itself and she said go and get this first and then she said next and i'm just standing there and looking at her she's saying next 
I didn't leave the counter yet. I was standing there. She said, next. And I said, can you please answer my query? What all documents you need more? She said, go and get this first. And then the mobile was uh, in my hand itself. And I just closed the tabs because the copies were open. She shouted, don't click my picture. I said, why the hell are you yelling at me? Did I click your picture? The phone is right in front of you and everything is recorded in the camera. The phone was right in front of her. The manager came and uh, she, the manager asked, what happened? I said, ask your staff what happened. The phone was in my hand. I didn't touch my phone at all. The manager asked me, did you click the picture? I said, this is the phone. This is my gallery. See, did I click the picture? I'll show you my deleted uh, documents as well. Deleted photos. I showed that as well. Did I click the picture? No. Then the manager said, please tell me what happened. I said, before you asking me, ask your staff what happened, how she behaved. Then the manager was Kamrul and um, he uh, took me to his counter and um, he asked for my details, everything I showed him on the phone and uh, he took my luggage, like um, my luggage was uh, checked in and uh, then later on uh, he said uh, there's a requirement from uh, Indian government that you have to show the hard copy of your air suvida and rtpcr i said okay i went to the counter i took the hard copy he took me along with him to the printout uh, counter and it was around 20 dirhams uh, per printout so two printout was for 40 dirhams I paid, I got both the printout and he told me you don't have to show it over here. Once when you land Mumbai, you would have to show there. I landed Mumbai and um, so those things were done. So, okay, now one more thing. Uh, Kamrul asked me, what is your purpose of visit to Mumbai? I was like, I am born and I'm based out of Mumbai itself. So I'm going to my home country. So he was like, okay. And then I told him the answer that the lady gave was not right you know ask your Indian government and the way she uh, yelled on me she pounced on me and the way she threw my passport that is not something that you expect from a front executive front desk executive right so I would just request uh, the people who are you know getting to the uh, front desk uh, services and all you have to help the passengers to resolve the query not to pounce on them because we as a passenger we might not know all the rules and regulations we might not have all the informations that's what we want you to help us with everything right but if you uh, give an answer which uh, differentiates between countries and between their rules and regulations that is not something right as a tourist I visited Dubai, I had a lovely time in Dubai, the people, the police, the citizens, everyone in Dubai was very cooperative, very cooperative. I didn't have any problem in Dubai. While going from Mumbai, I didn't have any problem, but while coming back on the last day, this was a problem that I faced and I really didn't like it. Now talking about the good part. Uh, so. Uh, I entered the Emirate flight and wow, what a flight. I mean, trust me friends, so clean and like, you know, the staff was so polite, very humble um, and the food was very good. I loved the quality, the taste, the texture of the food and the packaging was done in a very lovely manner so i'll add uh, the video clips and everything and i'll do mention uh, uh, you know in the description box as well uh, my journey from emirates uh, you know through emirates from dubai to mumbai was very nice and a very comfortable journey and uh, the food services everything was very nice i enjoyed it i loved it uh, so friends flight dubai ke experience apne dekh liya so now talking about emirates uh, so first let me tell you about Dubai airport so fly Dubai lands at uh, terminal 2 while other country flights come at terminal 1 and my departure was from terminals 3 the airport was just wow and it was so big and uh, here pe there was uh, a food village and uh, friends I didn't get time nahi mila because my boarding ka time ho gaya tha. Uh, if you get a chance please go to food village and tell me how it is and here comes the good part so this is in flight that is uh, emirates 
बहुत ही मुझे छोटा सा क्वेश्चन मिला एंड आई वॉज वेरी कम्फर्टेबल एंड आई सॉ मूवी ऑल्सो एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फूड वाव इट वॉज जस्ट अमेजिंग ये था योर ग्रीन पीज एंड पटेटो की सब्जी एंड दिन देर वॉज वॉटर एंड ऑरेंज जूस द राइस वॉज वेरी टेस्टी आई एक्चुअली लव दिस राइस एंड आई वॉन्टेड मोर बट ठीक है बिकॉज इट वॉज विद द ग्रीन चिकन करी एंड देर वॉज अ स्वीट डिश विच वॉज जस्ट ऑसम नाउ दिस वॉज द नाइट सीन एंड दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दुबई इन द नाइट लवली इज इन डेट वाओ मेरा तो मन ही नहीं कर रहा था वापस आने का बट या इंडिया तो आना ही पड़ेगा वापस सो नेक्स्ट ईयर न्यू कंट्री वेरी सून एंड आई हैड अ लवली एक्सपीरियंस फ्रेंड्स स्पेशली विथ एमिरेट्स आई वुड सजेस्ट इफ यू गेट अ राउंड ट्रिप प्लीज सिलेक्ट एमिरेट्स इट वॉज वेरी गुड एंड ऑल्सो वीडियो यहाँ पे ख़त्म नहीं होता है बिकॉज अभी आप देखोगे इन फ्लाइट नाइट व्यू कैसा होता है इन एमिरेट्स अगर आप दूसरी एयरलाइन से ट्रैवल किए हो और सेम ऐसे एक्सपीरियंस है सो डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड सो यू कैन सी इज इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल वाओ I would suggest if you get an option not to fly only with Emirates, go with Emirates only. Uh, fly Dubai is okay type of flight in terms of experience. If you are uh, going to Dubai for the first time, avoid fly Dubai because there is nothing like a wow moment. It's just like you know, you just sit and you go. But Emirates, you'll have a different kind of uh, feeling. You know, you'll just feel like wow. So yeah, that's it, friends. सो uh, so, अगर आप में से किसी ने कोई भी एयरलाइंस में कभी आपने कोई प्रॉब्लम्स फेस किया इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टाफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ सर्विसेज डू मेंशन योर इश्यूज इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड मुझे आप इंस्टाग्राम पे फॉलो कर रहे हो राइट मेरे पर्सनल अकाउंट पे एंड मेरे मंचिंग मिट्स के अकाउंट पे सो so, अगर आपने मेरा पर्सनल अकाउंट देखा होगा तो मैंने बहुत सारे पिक्चर्स डाले हैं एंड आई एम येट टू स्टार्ट विथ माई दुबई ब्लॉग्स सो मेरे लास्ट ब्लॉग में मैंने अभी तक सिर्फ अनबॉक्सिंग किया है ऑफ ऑल द इक्विपमेंट्स दैट I got and you can see I'm using the road mic and uh, yeah that's it. तो next vlog इसके बाद जो vlog आएगा I'll make sure मेरा पूरा Dubai series start हो and you guys will enjoy it for sure. जितना मेरे से हो सका मैंने उतना shoot किया उतना I tried because I even wanted to enjoy right. I wanted to you know feel that moment. So I tried to capture pretty good uh, clips uh, as I can and food तो definitely यार food channel है तो फूड तो बनता है मैंने जो जो फूड खाया सबका रिव्यू मैं दूंगी एंड ये फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल मंचिंग मीट्स सी यू एट द नेक्स्ट लोकेशन बाय